I'm a big proponent of like meet yourself where you are, right? Like if you're, um, you know, if you're not eating enough protein, okay, let's just start with like focusing on that rather than, you know, trying to say, okay, well, I'm not eating enough protein. I'm not getting enough water. I'm not drinking enough steps, getting enough steps. I'm not, you know, consistently hitting the gym five days a week or whatever. Start with one thing and then meet yourself where you are. Like if, you know, if we go back to the example of like the gym, cause this is one I hear a lot from, from clients of mine. It's like, oh, they want to, they want to go like, you know, uh, three to five times a week, but then they're struggling to get to that mark. And then like the most consistent they can do is just like one, right? Okay. Can we shoot for two times? Right. And that's where you got to be okay with like, Hey, this is good enough for right now. And then let's, let's, let's make the, let's make this, the steps to dial it up for sure. But don't be like, Oh, I'm going to immediately get five days a week tomorrow. And then get really frustrated that you're not, that's not happening and then get bummed out and then you, and then people tend to, people tend to quit. Well, and I think it's the thing, right? Is it's like people approach nutrition and fitness and a you know, lifestyle where it's like this on and off switch. It's like, yo, I'm either doing nothing. the thing or I'm not, yep, or, yep. Yo, I'm not doing the thing. And so it's like, if we can think about it as more of a dimmer, but you know, yes. think, think about like, if you have kids, like I don't personally have kids, right? But it's like, I've, I've coached enough over the years. I can tell you that, you know, when you're working one-on-one with a coach, quite literally it'll be like, Hey, what is the one goal that you're going to yes. commit to? And maybe there's like a second. And if it is, you know, it's bonus points, right? But it's like, literally, let's pick one thing. Let's get good at it. Because again, right. you know, it's like, it's back to this whole, like, if we can double down and figure out how to make something consistent, and we can figure out how to do the thing. Well, then it becomes something we're not putting energy into. You know, it's like Alex was commenting right. the other day because it was like, uh, you know, it was Christmas time. And so Charlie and I like hit like a little 12 days of body weight Christmas that I come up with. And it's like, well, yeah, you know, for a lot of people, they they might not work out, you know, the entire time during the holidays, during travel and all that stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that either, you know, if that's the experience they want. But it's like, it is, it's, it's this all or nothing where it's like, well, hey, I can do this routine. But then life got busy, you know, th- right. shit hit the fans and everything goes out the window. So it's like, how do we make things become part of our lifestyle and just become this thing that happens in the background without us, you know, noticing or without us having to think about it? Like, that's the way. And so, you know, if you have kids, same thing, you know, I have really awesome nieces that are uh, like nine and nine and seven. And so it's like, well, hey, you know, you would never be like, hey, uh, here's 11 billion things to go. It's like you would give them right. one. <laughs> And one then you go let them, exactly. you let them crash exactly. it, and then you then keep adding. So it's like truly, you know, you have to meet yourself where you're at. You have to see, but also like, what are the big rocks? You know, it's like so many people stress mm-hmm. over the little micro things where it's like, oh well, <laughs> should I, should I be like buying these expensive supplements or like, hey, uh, what should I like nutrient timing and like before and, and it's like, yo, like the the really big rocks that freaking pay the bills, right? It's like sleeping at night, consistently right. going to the gym, consistently eating getting protein, steps, food, eating yeah, enough protein. Like, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. So it's big, like big just opportunities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big for sure. old, the big, the big opportunities right. are even uh, our friend Kate that always talks about, you know, like nutrition minimums or lifestyle mm-hmm. minimums, right? It's like, how do we do these things? And then that buys us the freedom to move on to the big yeah. and sexy stuff. But, you know, it's like we we literally have to cartwheel before we're yeah. worrying about back tucks and, you know, flipping around <laughs> and all that stuff. So, Well, it, it comes um, from, I think a lot of it comes from like just impatience, right? Like you want to, you want, you want the results. You wanted them yesterday. Right. And that's just not how, and, and we didn't talk about this where I don't know if this is on the agenda, but I'm going to bring it up because it's like, that's, I think that's a really important factor is like you, we need patience here, right? Like fat loss takes time. So if you try to change everything at once and do everything in a rush, what's going to happen? We go back to the house, right? If we build it, we do this sus job, right? Like on this house, this house is literally going to fall apart. Like we need to take our time with it brick by brick, stone by stone and, and really build something solid, something that's firm. Right. And that's, that's going to take time. Yeah. Well, and it's just like, it's not sexy. Like, I think that's the biggest 
if I could pass on one thing with nutrition, it's like nothing in nutrition happens fast. Nothing, you know, it's like, especially if we're talking about something like fat loss, it's like, man, fat loss that comes fast is fat loss that don't stay. Like that's for sure. Because it's like, again, even if you drastically cut your calories, we do all these things and we get there. It's like, it doesn't mean shit if you can't sustain it. So it's like, how do we do things consistently? Because it really is everything with nutrition fitness is, Putting little quarters in the piggy yep. bank, you know, every single day. We get to day. keep what we earn. That's it. We get to keep what we earn. <laughs> I love that. We just don't arrive to these outcomes over time. And truly, it's like the juice is in the journey. It's not in the destination when you That's get right. there, right? So it's like, we, you know, it's like, A, buckle in. Right? It's like, if you decided like, hey, this is a goal. It's like, it's going to take longer than you want. Um, It's going to feel like you're making no progress. But like, you got to, you got to keep trucking along. Because again, you know, it's like, if you're in it for the right reasons, those are the people that, again, you know, stick with it and, and mm-hmm. get from where they're trying to go. So, um, so you know, first, first one we kind of threw out was like, just are you in the place to diet? You know, have you been dieting the past three months, the past six months? If so, well, again, we can't keep withdrawing <laughs> for you right, from this right. bank, like more than likely. So it's like, hey, you know, it's like, yeah, it might be the new year. Yeah, you might, you know, have all this motivation, but hey, double check yourself, you know, and again, let's start actually auditing, well, what do things look like? What what person do I have to show up as to, to arrive to my goal, right? It's like, that's something I think about all the time where it's like, if we can step into that identity of, hey, you know, it's like, I want to be somebody that is super fit, you know, super in shape, uh, living this healthy lifestyle where it's like, well, what would the habits of somebody that lives yeah. that life I want to be what are those and how do I start becoming that person? You know, it's mm-hmm. like we have to show up as that person before we can be that person. 100%. And so, you know, as auditing and assessing again, you know, it's just like, where's nutrition at? Where's fitness at? Where are all these things? And then continuing to compound. Uh, you know, again, number two is just like, trying to change <laughs> too many things all freaking at once. Again, you know, it's like consistency is the killer and it's not sexy, but it's showing up on the days that you don't want to, you don't feel motivated. You know, it's like, Mm -hmm. you know, when things just become something that we do because they're a part of our life, like that's truly the secret sauce. 